being in someone else's mind could send a person mad. I don't believe I was mad or becoming mad. But the experience was unsettling. Like being lost, but both knowing and not knowing where I was going and where I had been. It would take me some time to fully recover, that is if I ever really did. I knew things, glimpses of memories that were not mine. There were thoughts in the back of my mind that made little sense. Kellogg's memories, but incomplete. We had worked out our next destination, the glowing sea. Named because of the large amounts of radiation. I would need protection before going there. I did have power armor at Sanctuary, but it was incomplete. But first I would need some rest. Are you going to hang out in the lobby all day again? Or are you actually going to go down and do some work? Being available to the customers is work. It's not all about cooking cams, Claire. It's not all about sampling those cams either. Maybe if you stop using, you can focus. What? Where's the fun in cooking it if you ain't using it? My mistake. Before you even start, let's get to the point. We have rooms, one room specifically. Payment due up front. All right, here. The room is on the top floor. When you come to the hallways, the last one on the right. Hospitality and good neighbour was lacking, but I needed to recover from last night's ordeal, and a bed was a bed. Hancock's speech the day before had mentioned the Institute. Maybe he knew more, and maybe he could be of some help to us. Too bad about Finn. Gonna miss him next Super Mutant attack rolls round. Oh well. What can I do for our newcomer? Did I hear you talking about the Institute? You like my little speech? I do it every once in a while in case they're listening in. I want those synth makers to know that Good Neighbor is off limits. No one gets replaced in my town. But hey, weren't we talking about your needs? What did you come here for? What's your story, Hancock? My favorite subject. I came into this town about a decade ago. Had a smooth set of skin back then. While I was busy making myself a pillar of this community, I would go on these, like, wild tears. I was young. Any chems I could find, the more exotic the better. Finally found this experimental radiation drug. Only one of its kind left, and only one hit. Oh man, the high was so worth it. Yeah, I'm living with the side effects, but hey, was not to love about immortality. You're immortal? Well, not exactly. Ghouls just age really, really slow. Something about the rads, maybe? Oh, who knows? You're a hell of a risk taker, Hancock. Only have one life. Why not try it all? Anyway, did you need something else? Tell me more about this town of yours. Good neighbor. It's all about the people, understand? They're freaks, misfits, and troublemakers. And that's why I love them. Everyone here lives their own life, their own way. No judgments. Now, was there anything else? Looking for work. Work, huh? Hmm. I'll tell you what, I got reconnaissance needs. There's a lot of weird talk coming in about a place called the Pikmin Gallery. It's raider territory up there, but they've been quiet. Like uncomfortable post-coitus quiet. Snoop it out and give me the word. What else can you tell me about Pikmin Gallery? Nothing. That's why I'm paying you to go out there. Scout out Pikmin Gallery. On it. Cool. Be thorough, okay? I'm not paying for a look-see. Find out what's really going on there. A new player and good neighbor. Hello, little pawn. Welcome to our fun and games. You ever tried chess? Sometimes you need to sacrifice a piece to keep the game going. Keep that in mind. Hancock was unable to help anymore. I needed new leads. Wake up, Commonwealth. Since they're not your enemy, they are victims in this war as well. 
True, they were created by the Institute, but they were created as slaves. We didn't get to the thinking, top of this feeling, thing, like and dreaming thing. beings, utterly oppressed by their tyrannical masters. So join with us in fighting the real enemy, the Institute. Join the railroad. When you're ready for that next step, don't worry. We'll find you. The railroad. I'd heard that name before once in Diamond City. The tape had words written in red on it. Follow the Freedom Trail. I'm sure I'd seen this before somewhere, maybe in Boston Common. And there it was at Journey's End, follow the Freedom Lanterns. This could not be a coincidence. And the plaques had the same red writing added to them as on the tape. Seven and A. Some sort of code? Keeping Hancock sweet would help us in the future, but the railroad might be able to help us now. We followed this trail onto the next plaque. Ugh, what the hell aroma is that? Four. Hell, I definitely a code. We were being given clues, but to what? The trail was taking us past the cemetery, and it needed to be cleared of all the zombies before we could safely pass. zombies dealt with, we continued to follow the trail. It brought us right back to Good Neighbor. This was where I saw the very first plaque. Now a six and an O. Oh. What was this, a password or a puzzle? But to what? We had something up the road ahead and they needed to be dealt with fast. The Alpha was down, but there was more of them. I pushed forward towards the pack. I could not see the rest of them, but I knew it was still there. The dog got a bite in, but it was just a scratch. But I needed to be more careful. The road was blocked, so we climbed over the rubble and we could see the next plaque. And again, we were not alone. <laughs> Kellogg's pistol was the perfect weapon for these zombies. and we were one plaque closer to the railroad. Three, I. Shooting in the distance alerted us to a threat. Someone was throwing grenades at us. Zombies at the top of the stairs, but something was behind me. The raid had made far too much noise and the zombies wanted in on the action. The 
Raid had been wearing tough armor, but was only wielding an antique sword. This would once have been in a museum. No one else was coming, so we moved on. There had been one hell of a fight here. The area was littered with dead raiders. That was fine with me. There were lots of things to loot off their corpses. But who would have killed them and left them here without taking all their gear? Something was not right. But we soon found out who the attackers were. This was going to be rough. We needed them out of the way. They spotted Nick, and so it began. One of them was running towards us with a mini nuke. And he went up in a large explosion. Somehow Nick was still alive, but he needed my help. Before I could get to him though, I had to clear some of them out. One more down, but plenty more waiting. And someone with a rocket launcher. Another down, and it was now me who needed medical attention. I felt trapped in a corner. If I tried to move, it would shoot me. I just needed to keep out of its sight. It seemed unaware of where I was. Time to get to Nick. I hope you were smarter than this. Me too, Nick. Me too. Nick took position at the front, giving me the chance to try and flank our attackers. We had taken the front of the building, but they were holding the side alley. He had the higher ground, but was unable to take advantage of it. There were still more of them around. I needed a different position to get a better look. Once again, my laser rifle made short work of them. But was that all of them? There was still gunfire. I moved in closer. With my shotgun at the ready, I waited for the right time to move. The mutant was reloading, so I headed up the alley. almost dead, but I needed some luck. That had been the last of them. 
and we were free to continue following the trail. 5R. These mutants had a large amount of raiders as prisoners. I hated raiders, but being food for some of these super mutants was a horrible way to die. That was the first time I'd seen the airship since the roof of Fort Hagen. Seeing it just floating there was strange. It seemed so close, but I knew it was still some distance away. What technology was allowing it just to float there like that? They were thoughts for another time. Now we had more mutants to deal with. Uh, what's that? It was not sure if it had seen me. It would soon have no doubts. <laughs> the mutant was down, but that only angered its hounds. I was lucky a critical hit when I needed it, but those teeth had already done the damage. I needed medical attention and fast. I used bandages to stop the bleeding and stim packs for the pain. That had been far too close. We continued to follow the trail. It was leading straight to an old church. Church. This must be our destination. Well, we had come this far after all. It was dark, very dark. My light hardly made an impact on the blackness of this place. And we were not alone. Was this the right place? I could not see how. Now we had their attention, I moved back, forcing them into a bottleneck and hopefully making our job easier. them down we headed deeper into the church. There was a doorway lit up like a beacon in the night. The only way was down deeper into the darkness and signs of more zombies to come. We were now deep underground, in the catacombs under the church. Is this really where the trail leads us?
people have been down here recently. Nick was right. There was paint everywhere. Someone had gone to a lot of effort to make this trail. And the zombies were just an added deterrent to visitors. But as long as we moved slowly and quietly, we would get past them all. This place could give a mutant nightmares. Every dark corner had to be checked out. We could not leave anything behind us. Another plaque. Was this what we came all this way for? We were at a dead end, but a lantern was painted on the floor. What did this mean? Had we come all this way just for another plaque? Or did the plaque hold more clues? There was a wire going into the wall. This plaque had more secrets to reveal, but what? A red arrow had been painted pointing up towards the letter T. I thought of the other letters I'd seen on all the other plaques. An R. An A. I. There was also an L. Also an R and an O. Wait, these words were spelling something. They were spelling... Railroad. Hmm, it spins. This plaque had been modified. Now I knew what I had to do. Oh, so it starts with R? And I now knew the word I needed. This was not a dead end, but the final test to see who was worthy of meeting the railroad. I input each letter, and each time press the button in the centre. Who would these people be? I had risked a lot to see them. They mentioned they were fighting the Institute. And that was all I needed to hear to convince me to seek them out. With the final click, the door slid open. Once again, we would need to head into the dark and into the unknown. Stop right there. You went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting. But before we go any further, answer my questions. Who the hell are you? Thank you all for listening to my tale. If you liked, please like and subscribe to never miss a video. Please comment below or on Facebook or Twitter with all the links in the description. I'm Sean Insane in the Game and this was Fallout 4. And I hope to see you all soon, one day, in the safe zone.